Welcome back everyone. I kind of wanted to break down some awesome applications that are not on the App Store for your iPhones. Now, I didn't want to go super crazy and talk about, you know, any old store type of apps or anything like that. So I wanted to make it very basic. These can all be, you know, really added from your home screen via the Safari browser. So no profiles, no nothing. And it's nothing super crazy, just a couple of them that might be cool. And I have them all listed actually right here. So the very first application I wanted to hit on is actually Eclipse. This by far is one of my favorite add to home screen applications you can install without having to install a profile or anything like that. Obviously you can't find it on the app store. And this is pretty much a Game Boy Advance emulator. Easily one of my favorite applications of all time. I used to use it all the time. I don't really use it that much anymore. But if you actually want to install it, a very easy process. You just want to make your way over to your Safari browser and you want to come into this specific page. Now this is eclipseemu.me. There's the website right there. So you can go ahead and click on it. I would usually leave the link in the description, but some of these videos get, you know, striked and everything. I don't want to deal with that. So eclipseemu.me. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see get, which is right there. And then it's going to probably be an ad. And it seems like these guys have a lot more ads nowadays, which is totally okay. Now, when you get into this page, all you have to do is you want to add this specific thing to home screen. So you want to click down basically right here. You want to click the share button and maybe up top, if, depending on if you're on iOS 14. Then what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see add to home screen right here. So go ahead and click that. And when you do that, you'll pretty much get into this type of application. So all you have to do is open it from there and you just want to set it up. It's going to take a second or two to actually fully set this thing up. You'll eventually come into this panel and from here you can import your ROMs and all that other stuff that you guys normally would want to do. So very easy thing, something I would highly recommend you guys to look into. Now another thing, another application that's really cool is this Samsung Eye Test. Anything super crazy, I understand why you know Samsung couldn't put it on the App Store, but if you actually open it and what this does is it almost replicates Android on your specific iPhone. So you can see I just set it up and you can see I pretty much have like an Android phone on my you know iPhone which is so crazy. Now it's not a fully functional Android but it kind of is, I mean it looks pretty close. I don't think I can get into my app panel, so I can get into my app panel, which is pretty wild. And it looks pretty much just like Android, which is so insane to me. Now, it doesn't really have any crazy features. Nothing is, I guess it does actually have some stuff inside of it. You can also click on the home button to get there. Now, this is literally just an app, so you can't really do anything with it. But you can see there are a lot of things that are functioning within this, which is pretty insane. I don't know if I can, so I can pull up a keyboard. That's actually pretty crazy. So from the last time that I actually, so gestures doesn't work, but from the last time that I actually tested this, a lot of things have actually changed, which is pretty impressive. So if you want to install this one, all you have to do is make your way back into your Safari browser and you want to go to this website right here, which is called itest.nz. So that's the website, very easy website again that you can go and check out. So all you want to do is make your way over to this website, click on the share icon here, scroll down until you see add to home screen, which is right here which is right here. So click add to home screen and you will get into pretty much the same prompt that I was just in. And once you go through that, you can actually pretty much get into your, you know, Samsung Galaxy UI, which is so crazy. Now another, I wonder if the camera works. So camera, so camera actually does work apparently. So I guess camera doesn't work if that guy's just were doing whatever, but essentially that's it. Now, another cool application is this Reddit client. It isn't really like, you know, the best one in the world, but it is a pretty decent one. So again, this is more so a web page than an application, but the way it's set up is it's really set up, you know, very well for it being like an application. Now I forget the name of this link, so I will go ahead and leave a link down below possibly. I think the website's like reddit.premi.com or something like that, but this is just another Reddit client. There's a bunch of these. You don't even have to use this one if you don't want to. There's a lot of them around, but that's another really cool thing I would recommend you guys to look at. Now, finally, the last one, which is actually really funny, is something I like too, is this one called Pokédex. So this is pokédex.org, and if you know Pokémon or anything like that, this is another really cool application that, you know, if you're a gamer, if you use, if you're into Pokémon at all, it's kind of going up in value now. It's a lot of people are interested. This will give you some breakdown of basically all these different things within Pokémon, and it's super colorful. I like the way it looks. It looks very beautiful. If you want to install this one, all you have to do is make your way back into here, you then want to go ahead and go to pokedex.org. There's a website link right there. And all you have to do is pretty much click the add to home screen right here. Click add to home screen right there. And you'll pretty much see that application come onto your home screen. And from there, you can go and open it up and normally use it as you normally would. So that's pretty much it. Some really cool stuff. If you guys have any other applications or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. 
hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.